China just dropped a bombshell on the crypto market on Bitcoin on Shiba Inu. Plus, the federal chairman is living in illusion. <laughs> and we are already seeing the Trump effect in full force in the United States of America for the crypto market. I'll explain everything. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out those good, good vibes smishity smash that like button because it's thursday likes are for free and now let's get into it so currently bitcoin is sitting at seventy five thousand seven hundred and seven. it fell off a little bit from the alt new all-time high so basically it's gonna it looks like maybe this is the the end of it but every few hours we had a new high uh, as you can see there was a new there was a high here and then that got uh, from before and then it created a new high then it pulled back then we got a new high and then pulled back then we got a new high and it pulled back <laughs> uh, so i need to chart this out uh again you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna move this up because um there's gonna be a lot of new highs right it sounds like i'm speaking chinese <laughs> it's it's on brand with the video right we're gonna talk about china in just a second but uh here bitcoin creating a new high um i'll fix that later uh and uh we're we saw shiba inu um you know pop up go over 1900 pull back with the rest of the crypto market i told you shiba inu doesn't stay for too long uh in the in the zone of 1800 i don't know why it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't like uh that zone it all it always falls out uh you know after a few hours a few days um historically uh so that's interesting well you know we'll, we'll see what happens here with uh, shiba inu in the next coming days we do have a buy signal for shiba inu all the moving average are saying strong buy and if we go to the oscillators they're mostly neutral momentum is a sell and macd is uh is a buy uh, so all the moving averages are saying that shiba inu is a strong buy even uh, on the daily chart and if you look at it right and you look at where we were uh just a few weeks ago so the low for shiba inu was at 1079 so shiba inu if you take that low that we hit uh, a few weeks ago uh that was in august so it's a few months ago shiba inu is up around 76 percent in three months not uh, you know crazy but not too bad right it could have been worse <laughs> um and so of course we are a little bit off the highs that we saw uh in september at the end of september when shiba inu suddenly pumped and then pulled back so there was a pump and then a dump uh and we're currently see we have we were at 21 15 and we're not that far off of that uh you know if 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 we do get a little bit of a pump here a friday pump uh, 14 percent i don't know if we'll get a 14 percent pump but uh weirder things have happened so that is a possibility here for shiba inu in the next few days if we do see momentum into the uh, crypto uh, market um there were still liquidations here today um if we take a look <clears throat> 321 million on the liquidations uh, in the last uh 24 hours you can see uh mostly short sellers uh but if you look here others uh got liquidated on the long and also doge got liquidated on the long so interesting uh so so this pullback kind of uh, shook out uh a a nice amount of uh, longs as well uh, i wanted to share with you this video we just had the fed meeting and they decided to reduce uh the interest rates by another quarter of a percent uh but what was most funny in the whole meeting was uh was this question right here some of the president's elects advisors have suggested that you should resign um if he asked you to leave would you go no uh can you follow up on is it do you think that legally he did, you're not required to leave no so I, I don't know if uh he thinks that meaning that she meant like you know to leave in the sense that he's asking him to uh you know resign or leave in the sense that he's gonna fire him <laughs> um i just I, I found that funny uh you know who knows what's where we're going to be in the next few months just from from that point of view uh wh where the fed is going to be where the sec is going to be like 
we could see a total shakeup in that whole sector. Uh, and when we talk about China in just a second, uh, you'll understand why it's so important uh, that uh, Trump gets it right and gets the right people in the chairs um, and doesn't doesn't mess it up. Right. It's super, super important uh, that, that we, we don't mess this up and um, the U.S. can be at the forefront. Right. That, that's what we want. But we're already seeing the Trump effect here. Uh, Justin, Detroit, Michigan becomes the largest U.S. city to accept Bitcoin and crypto for taxes. Interesting. Right. Uh, you know, all around the world, people want to use crypto as a, as a payment, crypto as they say, if you if you're paying taxes, you want to use crypto to pay taxes, right? You don't want to have to transfer from crypto to fiat and then, you know, and it costs you fees and it costs you money. No, if you have that possibility, right, then let me pay in, in, in the in the asset, right? I mean, let's say you are using our partner Margex and you got a big trade, right? Uh, and, and you wanted to pay the taxes on that big trade, right? You couldn't unless it's available in your country uh, to pay taxes in crypto. But by the way, if you are interested, our partner Margex will give you the opportunity to go long, to go short. Yeah, you can go up to 100x for Bitcoin and Ethereum if, if your heart desires. It's a little bit too much for me, but <laughs> um, you'll get some bonuses if you use my link. $50 once you sign up, plus another $50 once you use uh, deposit your first $100, that goes commissions, plus you get another 20% kicker to your deposits if you use my special code. I'll get a little bit of commission if you use my link, so thank you for that, but please, 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 please trade responsibly. You can make a lot of money with leverage, but you can also lose a lot of money as well. I've been on both sides of the coin. <laughs> um, so we are seeing from here what we just talked about Detroit. We're seeing uh, Dennis Porter here talk about how he, according to him, uh, he can confirm that in 2025, multiple states will have strategic Bitcoin reserves legislation introduced. Um, so, you know, we were talking about how Trump, one of the things that he promised in the Bitcoin um, conference that he was at was that he was going to create a Bitcoin reserve. Most likely that is going to come from the assets that they seized right from the illicit activities uh and um that huge amount uh if you think about it remember germany was selling all that bitcoin <laughs> i think they sold around fifty thousand, right they would have been up a lot on that position but but then but then you know that you could say that they would have been a, a, up a lot but then they wouldn't have had the cash and then they if they would have sold now it would have crashed the market so better they would sold back then than they so, sell now right <laughs> better for us right um and so it's it's going to be interesting to see uh you know what what the market does here you know bitcoin is is on the verge just now on the one minute charts to cross uh, the 1348 EMA. Uh, by the way, someone asked uh, in the comment section, uh, where where do you find uh, this script? Um, it's basically, um, it's a script that was created by someone else. I didn't write it. Um, you can Google um, 1348 EMA. I think the name is Review Dork was the, the guy that, uh, or he, he was, he made it, like he first introduced it to me. I didn't like, I don't like him that much as a, you know, as a person, <laughs> um, you know, he's okay. Some of the things he controversial, right? Um, I don't, I don't hate on anybody. And, um, and he, someone created a script, um, off of that strategy. So if you Google 1348, uh, EMA review dork, you can find the trading view script and then you can put it in the, uh, in trading view and then you can see it as well someone was asking if anyone sells you an indicator tries to push on you these things you can you can create with chat gpt or any ai or you can use this or you can use other indicators like i i personally would not pay uh, for one day the the company that does it they contact me multiple times trying to you know say hey we'll create an indicator for you and you put your name on it and then you can sell it and i was like no thank you Right. Uh, um, it, that, those things are not for me. Like if I'm going to sit, you know, if I do do something, uh, you know, a course or something that's actually, you know, something that 
I know there's courses, many people can also do courses, but that's personally me. It's it's me doing the course, or it's it's my thing. So, you know, someone creating a, t a indicator for me and then me selling it. I don't know. That was I didn't I didn't like that concept. But you know, ev everybody does does what they want to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it will be interesting to see uh, what happens here in the next uh, few hours, few days. Uh, and if we go to China. This was super interesting. Um, Chinese media is reporting on Donald Trump's plan to make the U.S. the world's crypto capital and establish a strategic Bitcoin reserves. Let's take a listen here. Bitcoin and crypto reserves. Okay, it's in Chinese. <laughs> Unless you know Chinese, uh, <laughs> I didn't play it before. Uh, but basically, what's uh, happening here is we have a situation where Trump, right? Part of his first term was like anti-China. Right. Uh, you know, of course, especially with the the pandemic, you know, he kept calling it the Chinese virus, right? And I, I think that they're not happy that he won the election, right? Uh, and something that they could do is battle him on the front of crypto and create kind of a crypto wars, uh, in a sense that they don't really want crypto in their country because they want as much oversight and as much control as they can, right? Like a CBDC would be good for them, but they wouldn't want the uh, opportunity to let their people, you know, have something other than their currency, right? Um, you know, they almost abolished totally cash in their country so they can track what's happening through WeChat or in other apps. Uh, and so it will be very interesting to see if China, uh, with this uh, kind of, you know, article that we see here on their, on their national TV station, uh, is gearing up to create a crypto wars against Trump and not let him uh, turn the U.S. into the forefront of the of the crypto uh, market or the crypto realm. We know that the EU is probably not going to do that. Uh, maybe India, maybe the United States of America. The other countries that are very pro-crypto are kind of small. And so I don't know if they would be able to be at the forefront, like they, they're not big enough. Uh, but it will be interesting to see how this plays out over the next four, five, 10, 15 years uh, in the crypto market. It's going to be very, very interesting. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below and smash that like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.